this. Oh, good. His recording. I guess that was a nice delayed reaction. So it looks like Arthur gets to go first today. Are you kidding me? He got double, so Arthur starts out with a 2 nothing property lead. Look at that. I just cut his lead in half. It's 2 to 1. Arthur's just taking a 3 property to 1 lead. And here comes a trade offer. Wow. So, I wonder what Arthur would want. He likes St. James Place. And of course, the answer, of course, the answer is no deal. I obviously could have gotten like $500 from him. But I obviously don't want to do that. I want to buy these properties. I mean, yes, it could help, but I would obviously have to, you know, give him money back later. Seven. Before I make my decision, I will trade with Arthur. So, you give me Mediterranean Avenue, and I will give you $60. I will buy Boardwalk. Phew! Alright, he didn't get a 1 to 1, but 660, I'm off to pay 10%. That makes sense. <gasps> wow! Good thing I didn't give him that property. Now he's definitely not getting it, because that does not make any sense to do that. Oh no, let's see. Oh, he owns that property. I wanted to get, you know, maybe a property that he doesn't own. And then he would have to auction it. So, Arthur would like to trade. He already has two trade outlets. See, now he can trade for Venter. Of course, the answer is no deal. Ten, good. Alright, let's see. Boardwalk has to go to pay for it. It's okay, let's see. What else has to go now? North Carolina Avenue and Connecticut Avenue have to go to pay for it. Good, it's one railroad, so... <gasps> really? Arthur gets a bank error in his favor. I'll buy it. Let's see, he gets an 11, so... Oh, he owns that property, so I guess it's okay. <gasps> Look at that, doubles, don't get doubles. Phew. Come on, 24 to Arthur. How is that helpful? Good, okay, Arthur can get assessed. I know I have no problem with that. Okay, that's not good. Now I really need electric company. Let's see. Oh, but some's mortgage, so 800. Oh, I'm gonna pay the 10%. Not 10, sorry, I'm gonna pay the 200. So Virginia Avenue has to go to pay for it. Alright, $16 to Arthur. That is helpful. $25. I would really like, you know, a second railroad, but... Oh, he needs some money. And I mortgage now most of my properties to pay for other properties. Ridiculous, so I guess Oriental has to go. Pay for luxury tax. Pay poor tax of 50 that's not good, at least for Arthur. Oh, good. I'll buy it. I mean, I did need that $200, but I definitely want the railroad. So, Arthur would like save James Boys. And of course, the answer is no deal. T8. Oh, come on. Now I have $0. Nothing if I have to, you know, if I had to pay Arthur money. But that was before I got the $50. See? Good thing I had that $50 from the bank. Go back three spaces. He got a three and has to go back three spaces. Oh, good. This is a monopoly. So Venter has to go, Illinois has to go, and St. James has to go for my first monopoly. Boardwalk and Park Place. That is huge. Ridiculous income tax. How was that helpful? It's not. Let's see, I got 10. Let's see. What can I mortgage? 
<laughs> oh, not much. I don't have much to work. Oh, come on. He has four trade outlets. So, Arthur would like Virginia Avenue, even though it's mortgaged. So, of course, the answer is no deal. Come on, I'm back to, back to zero dollars. I don't think I'm going to get lucky this time. See? Park Place has to go. And Electric Company has to go to pay for it. So it's Mortgage Indian Avenue and then Unmortgage Electric Company. Make a nice trade-off. Really? Jail? Alright, I'm getting out instantly. Dust yourself off. Wow, I have eight dollars. There's the Illinois Avenue. I just mortgaged it. Oh no, it was Indiana, sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna mess that up. Let's see, I got an eleven. Phew, that's the one I am. Good, don't land on it when it's, you know, it's mortgaged. That would not be good. Oh, come on, what do I have to do more to see? I'm do Mediterranean. Revenue. Okay, if that is mortgage, so it's okay. Good, $200. Let's see, I got eight. Get on my paying six to Arthur. Let's see. Get out of jail free. Could he use that earlier? And there's to go. Collect two hundred dollars. Good, good, all right. Wonder if he'll get doubles. He got a seven. Phew. Arthur has to pay one hundred dollars. So now he would like to trade. He would like North Carolina Avenue. Of course the answer is no deal, because what sense does that make? Fine. Double railroad card. Luckily I will buy it. That is huge. Three railroads. I wonder if I'll get the final one. Highly unlikely, but... Oh, come on, $150? Do you know an electric company have to go? Wow, I have three railroads. Let's see. I, I picked a B and O because he's the that he's the furthest away from that one. All right, good. It's on mortgage B and O railroad and electric company. I obviously want to do what I can to keep the railroads on mortgage because that's a hundred dollars if he lands on it. Yep, you know all three. Oh, come on. Ten dollars? Oh, come on! Alright, electric company has to go. Another twenty-two to Arthur. And this is eight shells, please. He owns that property. Come on, can't be giving money to Arthur. Okay, Xmas fund matures. He gets a hundred dollars. Good, good. Pay no rent. So, Arthur would like to trade. Let's see, what does he want? He would like Venter Avenue. Okay, why would I even consider giving him that? Are you kidding me? I guess I'll do short line. He could even get a 12. Fine. Oh, good, I'll buy that. And let's un quickly unmortgage short line. And Mediterranean, that's all I can do. Oh, he didn't land on the short line. Take it right on the reading. Oh, that is huge. Electric Company can come back. And Oriental. Oh, wait, I forgot. I always put houses here first. Before unmortgaging these other properties. So let's see. He needs seven. He got a six instead. All right, that's okay. Just so there's two properties out there: Pennsylvania Avenue. Ridiculous. Let's see what has to go. Uh, Oriental has to go. Six. Good. Pay no rent. I wonder if I will get Pennsylvania 
Railroad. That would be huge. That would, that would mean that I would have all four railroads. And I did, it wouldn't have had, even had to trade for them with them. So, Arthur would like to trade. So, he would like North Carolina Avenue. The answer is no deal. Come on, can't be giving money to Arthur. An unbelievable short line has to go. Take a walk on the boardwalk. Good. Short line is back. And this will get two additional houses. I'm on boardwalk, so it makes sense. Hopefully I do not get it. Tax. I said I hope I don't get it. Not I do get it. So let's see. If I get Kentucky Avenue, I'll have my third monopoly. If Arthur gets it, I'll have two. Finally, he lands on a railroad. $100. So I'll use that to walk around the board. Oh no! I can't afford it. So B&O Railroad and Reading Railroad have to go to pay for it. See, one, actually, did I really need to mortgage Reading Railroad? Ten. Oh, come on, right in. Actually, Reading Railroad's mortgage, so. Uh, I think maybe I need a choice in mortgaging that. So, okay, Arthur, let's trade again. So he would like, say, James Place. That makes sense. The answer, of course, is no deal. So there's one property left. Actually, I, do that. I could easily land on Indian tax again. It is Pennsylvania Railroad. There we go. Let's put... Oh, did I put two? Oh, I meant to do four. Actually, we'll just stick with two for now. I would like money to walk around the board. No one have to mortgage a property. See? Just like that. Good. So you got eight, so let's put more put two more. He's right there, so I guess it makes sense to do that. And let's put a hotel on Baltic. Hopefully he will land on Baltic and not Mediterranean. He would need a 12, he got an 11. Oh, that's huge. Arthur just got assessed. Thank you, Arthur, for getting assist. Good, good. I get a new that's mortgaged. Ridiculous. Kentucky Avenue has to go. So, right? That obviously would have had to mortgage that eventually. Good, good. Free parking. Okay, Arthur. Make a trade. You would like Venter. He does know it's mortgaged, right? Eight, hey, good. All right, so let's put the final hotel there. So let's start unmortgaging these properties. All right, let's go to unmortgage Reading Railroad and B and O Railroad. We'll do that. Those. Look at that! It's already paying off. One hundred dollars. Hey, good. We obviously can't afford no big one. Double railroad card would have been nice. Good, good. Ten. Four. Sixteen. Okay, that is not good. Hey, let's see. Nearest utility. Good. So it's on mortgage. Oh, I did electric company. So I'll do the little ones, Oriental, Connecticut, Virginia. It's okay, people, to be honest. When I get, when he, if he lands on Balt, yeah, then I'll definitely start doing Boardwalk and Park Police. Actually, I believe those are the only things I'll be able, I will be able to do if he lands on Baltic. Because it's 220 
and 192. She's looking at 412 dollars. So Arthur would like to trade. He would like North Carolina Avenue. All right, let's go quit. Come on, 40. Just gave him, you know, 56 dollars because of that utility. Page player 50, ridiculous, so I guess Oriental will have to go. Okay, pay no rent, that's good. It's not good. That is really not good. I don't want him going to jail. Double railroad card. Ooh, that is not good for Arthur. Oh, got a five. Good, let's stay on these railroads. I only have twenty-six dollars. Six. Oh come on! Now we don't have any money. That is horrible for Arthur. He finally lands on Pennsylvania Railroad, but I own it, so it's two hundred, not one hundred. At least you know, got two hundred dollars. So luckily, I didn't. It. Yeah, I will. It's on mortgage, Oriental, Boardwalk. Oh, that's all I can do. Good. I really want to bring Boardwalk back because that's another hundred. It's obviously not two hundred, but still good. There we go. Two hundred fifty dollars. Okay, Arthur. He would like to trade. So he would like St. James Place. So why would I even consider giving you that? I have all four railroads. You just land on Mediterranean Avenue. Park Place is coming back. Inventor's coming back. I also want to do... Wow. Arthur, that is horrible. You landed on both Baltic and Mediterranean. You just gave me seven hundred dollars in two turns. <laughs> Make that seven hundred eight. That's good. Not good for right there. Let's see. Four set rules: unmortgaged North Carolina, Illinois, Indiana. Down to two properties left. <gasps> but now some of these are gonna make some money. <laughs> really, fifty dollars to Arthur. Ridiculous. Connecticut will go. Probably should pick the Oriental, but... Wow, look at that. $40. So I got a second $20 bill, instead of just one. Let's see, seven, okay, Pacific Avenue. That's okay. Good, so Connecticut can come back, Kentucky can come back. Oh, $8 short. Double railroad card would have been nice. $150. 12. Oh, that's the that's the one he owns. Ooh, you can't be doing that. Giving me $200. So, Arthur would like to trade. He could trade for a lot of stuff. Oh, enough. Obviously, Venter's one. There we go. So now we'll start building houses on the red property. Should I have put one? I guess I probably would have picked Kentucky. No, good. It's okay. Hope it just land on a railroad, because a railroad's 200. Can't be giving the bank seventy-five dollars. You better expect he'll you know, make this comeback. He got a five. That is not good. He that amount of money just put three houses on the red. It will no longer be forty. I know. I probably should have put like two each for boardwalk. But of course, you know, I, I would have probably had the mortgage property. Let's see. Because he owns 
two purple, two orange. Let's see, 11, that's okay. Nine. Can't be giving me $200. Because of that, I will take a chance. Let's put three more houses there. Let's increase the damage. Good I own park place. Income tax, that's ridiculous. Which is not ridiculous, but I just clearly didn't want to land on it. Should I take him? Look at that. $250. It's just as much as Mediterranean Avenue. I obviously couldn't take a chance. He only had $90. So Arthur would like St. James Place. The answer is no deal. Arthur, you may have to start mortgaging these properties. Oh, you choking? I just got assist. Now I have to, you know, unmortgage these properties. There we go. Five. Pay poor tax of 15. Oh, come on! I knew that was gonna happen! Wow! How did I know once I unmortgage it? I was like, probably gonna get a furry. Bank pays you dividend of 50. Now I'm down to three dollars. Wow, does he really need an income tax refund? Good land on these railroads, it's okay. That is not good for Arthur. He can't be giving me $250. There, it's on mortgage land. So of course there's no point taking a chance because he can't get a one. Good, now just hopefully... I wonder if you will land on, you know, Baltic or Mediterranean. Mediterranean, that's another 250. So, Arthur would like North Carolina Avenue. Okay, why would I give him that? Can't be giving him $22. Go back three spaces. Life insurance matures. Seven, let's see. Doctor's fee. Ridiculous. Oh, that is helpful. $450. That will put more houses on the red. Good. He's right there, so... There we go. It's no longer $250. Four. Good. Seven. Ridiculous. Ooh, you actually owe me the $14 this time. Hopefully he does not land on the red. That would not be good for him. He would have to mortgage some properties. What do you... Oh, it missed it. He landed on the red anyway. $750. But he can mortgage some properties. So which ones have to go? Vermont Avenue is gone. Waterworks is gone. Pacific Avenue is gone. Pennsylvania Avenue is gone. Atlantic Avenue is gone. And finally, Marvin Gardens is gone. He is down to 330 of assets. I thought he avoided it, but then it said go to Illinois Avenue. Arthur, that is not good. So that means three more houses. Right here. Oh no, $10 short of hotels. It's alright. It's a nine. Yeah, he always keeps the orange. He usually will do that last. Wow, he's back there in the red property. Let's see. Seven. Good first roll. I got a five. Alright, I guess I'll take a chance and then get out of jail. Because I don't I obviously do not want to end the game in jail. And the game could end. So Arthur still would like to trade. So he would like Electric Company. 
All right, that does not make any sense to do that. Exactly, get out of jail. Well, I get out free. And Arthur, his game is over. That's the end of the game. All right, I will see you in the next video.